Are you looking for a new home in Texas? Frisco is one of the top of everyone's wish list. So if you're looking for new construction within Frisco, the Grove is a beautiful neighborhood that is at the top pick for many of our clients. Currently building in the Grove in Frisco, we have Highland Homes, Shattuck Homes, American Legend Homes, and CB Jenny has some townhomes that are going in. You can see a range of about $400,000 up for the townhomes and single families starting at mid to high 500s up into over a um, million dollars. So you've got quite a range here with lots of opportunities. But in this video, we're gonna go ahead and view Shattuck Homes today. We're gonna to tour their model and two of the spec homes that they currently have available. We will also go over what you can expect to see in the community of the Grove, as well as the amenities and everything else you need to know about living in Frisco. So let's go ahead and get started. Shattuck Homes is one of the builders here in the Grove. We're gonna go ahead and tour the model home, and then they have two spec homes that are available that we'll go ahead and take a look inside as well. So let's go ahead and see. The Danbury model with Shattuck Homes. This one has four bedroom, three bath. When you walk in, off to the right is a study. Off to the left, you'll have a bedroom. Pretty spacious. This one lets in a good amount of light. It also does have white walls, so it does let in light that way as well. Now for this bedroom, you'll have a bathroom. Oh, I'm so sorry. Coming around this way your main living space. This one does have windows that go from ceiling to the floor. It does have access to the backyard from this living space. This one does have a small covered patio. Everything here, they said, is on 40-foot lots. So you'll see that the yard is a little bit on the smaller size. I believe she said it was 110 feet uh, long. Coming back into the living space. Opens up into the kitchen. A little eating nook. really open and big. This one does kind of have the separate cooktop here. storage closet. Actually, I believe this is your pantry. So it's a really large pantry. When you come back here, there's the stairs, but you also have a little mud room area here. And then you have a storage closet here under the stairs. This will be your garage entrance here. Now as we go up the stairs. So it opens up to a nice size game room. Behind us, there is a hallway with a bedroom. We'll visit that in one moment. But down this hallway, you have bathroom. 
comes with two sinks. And then the full bath with a shower and closet. So it does have a nice little storage closet in here. Across the way is the utility room, which is really nice to have that upstairs with the bedrooms. It's really big. It has not only a storage closet, but it also has a sink and then room for your appliances. Continuing down the hallway, you have another storage closet, and you have two bedrooms. A walk-in closet, and another pretty good-sized room. I've been impressed with the size of these rooms. So as a reminder, we have two bedrooms here, bathroom off to our left, utility room off to our right. This is the game room area. This will overlook the living space. And then coming down this side of the hallway, you do have your primary bedroom. When you come in, off to the side is a closet. You got these storage, built-in storage right here, which is nice. And then when we come to the left, it opens up to the shower and tub. So again, you got the primary bedroom here, two bedrooms across on the other side of the game room. Downstairs, you have one bedroom with a bathroom outside of it, and then the study is down there as well. We're at 1554 Crate Myrtle Road. This is a spec home that's currently available for sale. It's four bedrooms, four bathrooms, just over 3,000 square feet. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what's inside. So this is the Brenham floor plan. When you walk in, you'll have the staircase right off to your left. It opens up into this general area here and off to the right, you have your a second bedroom here. It is a little bit on the smaller side. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it, it would be kind of a smaller bed and a little amount of furniture. You have a small closet here. It is attached to a bathroom that does have a shower. Apparently the fire alarm needs a new battery. <laughs> it's got a single sink. And it does have a little small storage closet and it does have an entrance off the hallway as well. There is a small coat closet, a large closet, <laughs> this is mainly storage and goes underneath the steps as well. So room to store things. Oh my God, there's the bathroom entrance. 
I'm gonna come into here, it opens up into the kitchen, your dining space, and then your living space. It does have your luxury vinyl plank flooring. It's a nice um, light brown. You have large windows. The mantle. Are also wired to put a TV up there. Sorry, I don't know why this. There we go. Back in focus. Open up to the kitchen here. The cabinets are a really pretty, almost like taupey color. So it's not um, not quite, a, it's, it's a warm gray that also has some brown undertones. It's really pretty. And then the countertop also picks up more of that tan color. Have the separate cooktop. And they do have the pot drawers in here. Have an undermount sink. You got the two pendant lights. And then you have a decent sized uh, eating area here. You can fit a pretty good sized table. Back here would be your garage access. You have a little cubby area to put like a little um, mudroom coat holder if you'd like. Here's like your standard garage. So it opens up to the back of the house. Now if we come over here, it's the access to the backyard. Again, since you have your 40 foot lots, you have pretty minimal backyard, so not a whole lot to take care of. The HOA does um, cover the maintenance of the front yard, so it would just be um, the responsibility of the homeowner to take care of the backyard maintenance. All right, I'll go ahead and head upstairs. So again, you have kind of more of a tannish neutral carpet. Not just white walls. When you come up, it opens up to a game room. It's already pre wired here. Now we come down the hallway, and this is where all the other bedrooms are located. So if we come to our left, here's bedroom number three. This one does look a little bit bigger than the one that was downstairs. And then there's an attached bathroom in here. And then the closet's right here. Across the way is the utility room. So there's a small closet and then enough space for the utilities. Coming this way. We have another bathroom. It is attached to another bedroom, but it also does have access uh, from the hallway. So this is how we get into this room here. This one's bedroom number four. And then when we come down to the end of the hallway, we have the primary suite. So these ones do have those primary suites on the top floor um, just to make room because of the 40 foot lots. It just saves space downstairs. It's pretty even size, both length and width wise. You open up into the bathroom 
has a sink on this side and then has a sink on this side. Just have a garden tub and then has a pretty spacious shower. Closet's a good size. And the tile is pretty neutral. So again, this is the Brenham floor plan. The spec home is available now. You have the primary suite upstairs along with two additional bedrooms and uh, two additional bathrooms up here in addition to the one in the primary suite. You have the game room up here and then downstairs again you have um, that fourth bedroom and then the living space as well. one of the spec homes that's available. Right now it's just in the framing stage. So it looks like this will be a bedroom. And then you got a closet here. You've got a bathroom here. It looks like it has a shower pan. You got a stair access here. A little storage closet. Looks like this opens up to the kitchen. You got a little pantry framed right there. So here's the kitchen. Looks like utility room is right there. A little eating nook. And then your living space here. So it does open up to the second story, which is nice. Will be open railing. Looks like the garage is on the back there. So when you come through the utility room, you'll have the garage. So again, this is part of the kitchen. Looks like here you have a bedroom with an attached bathroom. got Roland over here say hi all right heading back heading upstairs looks like you got a loft game room area and then you've got a couple bedrooms and then an overlook of the front This is the community map for the current phase of Shattuck Homes. You can see the two spec homes there with the green dots on Crate Myrtle Road. They also are currently building from ground up and you can expect about a 10 to 12 month build time if that's the route you'd like to go. The Grove is a master planned community located in Frisco, Texas. It is conveniently located just west of Custer Road and just north of Highway 121, so very convenient for everywhere you want to go. As you can see above on Main Street, that little area of open land, that's where they plan to do their next phase after they finish the one that they're currently on. But the neighborhood is right there next to everything you can possibly want with all the entertainment and dining options that are available there in Frisco. The Orchard House houses the Amenity Center for all phases of the community. So we're here at the Amenity Center called the Orchard House for the Grove community. Here you'll find inside they have gathering rooms, they have a place where you can get coffee, they have a fitness center, and they have lots of other amenities here as far as a pool, playground, and lots more. There are lots of seating and gathering places located throughout the Orchard House. 
There's also a self-serve coffee bar available to all members. The gym is also available to those who are looking for an option close to home. The open lawn area is a perfect location for those looking to host an event. The orchard house also boasts two beautiful resort style pools and a children's splash pad. The community offers over 75 acres of open space to include over 8 miles of trails. This is the current map of the community with this listed as what they plan to build in the next phase across the street. Located separate from the Orchard House, here is an example of another community park that is available in the neighborhood. At the time of this recording, we are told that the HOA fees, according to the website, are $190.50 a month and they're billed quarterly. While this may seem like sticker shock at first, it is quite a good value considering the HOA does also provide lawn maintenance for the front yard of all homes and mulch maintenance, as well as this gives you access to the amenity center and everything that the HOA has to offer here in the Grove. Now we'll do a quick drive through the neighborhood so you can get a feel of what the homes look like built and what it feels like as you're in and around the community. The Grove is currently zoned for the award-winning Frisco ISD with the elementary school either being Isbell, Tally, or McSpedden. Middle school would be Lawler with high school going to Liberty High. The neighborhood is currently being served by electric and gas through CoServe. Internet and TV would be through AT&T or Spectrum. And the city of Frisco would be providing your water and trash. We already touched on the close proximity of the Grove to so many places within the Frisco area. But to dive a little deeper, let's go into some of the shopping and entertainment options that you would have. Within a 10 to 15 minute drive, you're looking at Waters Creek, Allen Outlets, Shops at Starwood, the Frisco Square, Stonebriar Mall, Legacy West, The Star, Toyota Stadium, Comerica Center, and much more. You're also within a 10 to 15 minute drive of Medical City Frisco and Children's Medical Center Plano. Also, there are numerous golf courses within a very close proximity of the community. Then within a 15 to 20 minute drive, you're at the McKinney Square, PGA New World Headquarters, and the newly announced Universal Studios theme park.
If you would like to learn more about The Grove or any other community in the Dallas area, or how you can make one of these homes your own, reach out to us. We're happy to help. We always make sure all of our clients get the best deals in all the best neighborhoods. If you like this tour of The Grove, be sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this.